Alright, so there's a couple of different ways we can do that. Uh, one way is to just use two separate joint chains. One would be our control rig, which would be put uh, all sorts of different things on there like IK, FK, controls, all that sort of stuff. And that would then drive our bind rig, which is these multiple joints here. Uh, the way I like to do that is just with simple connection joints. Uh, it's a one-to-one, -one, so you don't need to do any anything fancy, no constraints, nothing like that. Uh, the only thing you want to do is split this rotation up into these rotations. Alright, so let's do the simple ones first. The elbow is the easiest, so I'm just going to go to my connection editor load that in and find my rotates and you may or may not want to restrict you know rotations in the Z and Y axis because our elbows don't do that I don't really care uh, sometimes a little bit of extra there is, is helpful uh, so I'm going to connect all this together so now if I rotate my control arm whoa whoops I forgot to check that <laughs> So what I just do is look at my, oh yeah, that's a mess. So what I want to do is make sure that all my rotation axes are facing the right way. So I have this one wrong and this one wrong. There's a script that you like to use which is called CN Spin Axis. And you can get off high end, but what I'm going to do is just tell it to rotate in X 90 degrees until I get it matching. I'll do the same thing with the wrist joint. There we go. And I can leave the connections together that were on there, and you'll see it'll now rotate the correct way. A oh, little snafu there that I didn't look for. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is uh, connect up some of this other stuff. So the wrist is probably the hardest one, so I'm going to go back to the shoulder here. So I'll go to my shoulder, load on the left hand side, bring my shoulder and bring it on the right hand side, and find again its rotates. Now what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to rotate in Z and Y of the shoulder, those will be a one-to-one -one connection, but then I want to split the X down these four joints, so I'm not going to connect X just yet, just my rotates I'll test that, there's Y there's Z, okay now for the X, what I want to do is split that up by four, or divide by four uh, so what I'm going to do is a multiply divide node to do that, now there's a lot of ways you can create the multiply divide node uh, one of the easiest ways is uh, through mel, multiply. Of course, it's easy if you can spell. There we go. And you should get a result that says multiply divide 1. If you don't, it means you did something wrong or spelled something wrong. It'll say unknown node. Alright, so here's my multiply divide node. And by default, it's on multiply. Uh, you can change it to divide or leave it on multiply. What I'm going to do is leave it on multiply but change this to 0.25. And what that's going to do is basically like a percentage, 0.25 is, goes into 100 four times. So I could divide by 4 or multiply by 0.25. Oops. So I'm going to load that in to my right hand side here. And I'm going to put my rotate X from my shoulder joint into the input 1 X of the multiple of the node. And then what I'm going to do is take that multiple of the node on the left hand side and into these joints I'm going to put the output of the X. So what I'll do is I'll first select this joint, scroll down let's rotate, connect its X, 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 X. Alright, so now I'm going to test this real quick and what I should see is all these joints should rotate nicely so if I put 90 in here, we get a nice rotation now. Now this is just a standard bind, so I do have some weirdness with my bind, but I'm really not all that worried about it. Um, I'm going to be able to clean that up, simple smooth. Uh, but what I do want to show you is the fall off of these rotations, which is, is what we are getting. So that's excellent. So now what we can do is we have our Z, our Y, and our X. And they all work together. Cool. Alright, so now the harder part, which is the wrist. So what I'm going to do is uh, get a hold of that wrist and I want this to be a direct connection to this in the Z and Y, just like we did before. So again, connection editor. 
Find my rotate. Find my rotate. There we go. So again, we're going to ignore the X to start. And I could create another multiply divide node, but since I already got one up here by the shoulder, I'm just going to use it again. Now the hard part is, is getting it. Uh, I think that's in here. Uh, what I can do is go down to select connection. That's going to jump up one. And there's our multiple divide node. I can drop that in the connection editor. There it is. So I'm already using the X. And so now for the wrist, I'm going to use the input Z. So I'll select, make sure that's in there. Yep. And I'm going to present input Z. And just like before, I want to put a 0.25 in there. So to split it just like we did before, because we're dividing it. All right, so now I'll, I'll put that on the left-hand side. Whoops. Uh, uh, there we go. I want the output Z, and I'm going to put that into these joints here. So just like before, find the rotates, X, 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 and X. Great, so let's see how that worked. Excellent. We have a nice fall off of the joints. Creates a nice smooth rotation. I also have my Z rotation and my Y rotation working the way I want. Now here's where things get a little bit funky. Now what you'll see sometimes is if I rotate up on, uh, what is that? That's Z, and then I rotate in X, I'm actually getting a different result between these two joints. And that's because of the way that we've set this up. 